hey guys, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I, she just woke me up. Yeah. So, but, okay. Well, look a little messy, but. But it's okay, because we're going to look pretty in a second. I'm going to do her hair Thank and makeup. God. And we're going to answer some questions, because you guys have been dying to see a video. With Sorry, my mother. I just wanted to brush my hair a little. Okay. <laughs> God, I'm ugly in the morning. Oh, Sorry, up. people. They've been, I get comments on every freaking video to make a video with my mom. I'm so. really not that thrilling, but. Well, they have so many questions to ask you. They have a million questions to ask me. Okay, ask okay. away. So, I have my paper. Um, <laughs> I, I can read them. No, I, I'm questioning you. Oh, <laughs> now I look better. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so what is one thing that we like and dislike about each other? What's one thing you like and dislike about me? Um, I, I dislike Gianna's mouth a lot of the times. Sometimes she's real snippy and nasty and you just want to wring her neck. Oh my God. Okay, that, I answered that one. Okay, what do you like about me? Oh, mm, that's hard. Gianna is my partner in crime. She's my shopping partner. She's my only daughter, so that makes her even extra special. I like the fact that she's hardworking. Whatever she wants, she tries really hard to get. Um, she's a strong person, very strong. You just had to do one. Oh, sorry. One thing I dislike about you is how crazy you are. She doesn't know how to do one thing at a time. She does 15 things at once and then stresses herself out and stresses out everybody around her. Um, you know it's yeah, true. I do. I'm a crazy woman. And then one thing I like about you is just that you're the best mom in the world. Oh, thanks. You are. You well, you don't have any other mom. I know, but like, you could be a shit mom. Yeah, that's true. No, people, a lot of people that have shit mothers. And you're mom, right. So thanks, Jay. That was very nice. Um, everybody has a lot of questions about the flip flop situation on Abby's. <laughs> so, um, I'd like to you to explain so the funny. real story because what they showed on TV was not the like real I'm an story. Like I'm idiot. Yeah. No. So you. Can what explain. happened on Abby's is I had these really cute sandals on with the rhinestones and they were really cute. What happened was as we were, before the flip-flop thing, um, we were doing stuff with the girls and um, one of my flip-flops, one of my sandals broke. The whole heel came off and I, could not, I couldn't wear it. <laughs> so I said, oh my gosh, I have no more shoes. What am I gonna do? I can't go barefoot. And Gianna had a pair of flip-flops. I said, Gianna, Go get your flip-flops in the bag so I can wear something on my feet on camera on stage. So I put her flip-flops on. And yeah. then Abby, you know, she <laughs> freaking course, out because I had flip-flops. Of course, that was the challenge that I won. Well, so she had to go on yeah. stage. So Abby just to tell you, I never went on stage, would go on stage with flip-flops. I had beautiful, she brand new sandals on um, that were really cute. And I spent a lot of money on them, but... Unfortunately, they TV broke. Doesn't, and of course, <laughs> the TV, TV doesn't, doesn't show, show you, you that. that. Yeah. So, so yeah. That um, was the story with the flip flops. I'm not a, one that just goes out and flip flops when you should be a little bit dressed up. So this kind of has to do with that. What did the producers portray you accurately on the show? Um, not at all. I don't think they did whatsoever. No. Okay. First of all, when have you ever fought with anybody at the dance competition? Never. Exactly. When have you ever picked or made fun of kids? Well, first, f like, never. Exactly. So these are just things that you did, like, these were just things well, that were done for the show, and they made you seem like such a bad guy. Well, you know what? They wanted, um... Well, it's for TV, obviously, but... Yeah, it's they reality don't TV. They and don't know that. Their biggest thing was they wanted everybody to fight. And the funny part was, um, one of them had said to me, this is the worst. All these mothers get along. All of the mothers and the kids got along. Um, there were some that were like a little iffy once in a while, but for the most part, we were all cordial to each other. I actually became real good friends with a couple of them um, and, and are still friends with Mel, Haley's mom, and uh, Tina, Trinity's mom. Um, we still talk. And, uh, but 
Yeah, they would come up to me and say, uh, Cindy, go, go, you know, like, go razzle up Kira. Go say something to Kira about her dress or about, that was the whole big boob baby thing. Uh, they didn't tell me to say that, but as I'm doing what they're telling me to do, you know, things fly and out of your mouth. because they said, in the <laughs> beginning they said, which is the most stupid thing I've ever heard, but I mean, it makes sense for TV. But they said, the more you fight, the longer your kid will stay here. So when they said, Cindy, go yell at people, obviously she's going to go did. do it. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, but, you stayed for your talent also. But I know, but they, but they, it wasn't they an also accurate wanted representation. Bickering. Yeah. It was not an accurate representation. Yeah, I don't, I don't play with anybody. Ever. At home, ever. Rarely. Yeah, no. Um, Except for Gihanna. <laughs> what is your favorite solo that I did on Abby's Ultimate? Oh, the last one with the red dress. Really? Uh, with the red costume. Yeah, you're uh, the final. I, I forget what it was called. Do you remember? I mean, I, oh, yeah. Falling. 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 Because I remember it was funny that it was called Falling because I actually did fall in the first it was. It was so pretty. You know, to Sandra's just... To Sandra. To Sandra. She's, <laughs> she's just amazing. <laughs> And she worked, she was Gianna's choreographer, like, through... I got so lucky. I was the there whole for, like, time. the whole thing. Yeah, so it was, um, I'll tell you, as rough as it was... Um, I don't know where you're parting your hair, but... It's in the hair. middle, honey. Oh. We'll just do that side again. <laughs> yeah. Sandra was, was amazing, her choreographer. And she kind of got her all the time, okay, so she got lucky. Okay. So go ahead, what else? Um, what's our favorite memory together? Well, at least I, I look a teeny bit better. I don't. My hair my hair is <laughs> is in all the way. And I'm like, 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 like we're literally in our pajamas. <laughs> yeah, we are we are pajama city here because today we are taking my mom and my aunt out for lunch because my mom spent Mother's Day with my brothers. And I spent Mother's Day with my four kids. Okay, next question. Okay, sorry. Uh, what's our favorite memory together? I have no idea. That's a really hard You know question. what? We have a lot. We've spent a lifetime together. <laughs> you know what? That's the thing. I have been to every um, dance competition. I could say slash uh, almost every practice until she was driving <laughs> so i we have a lot of great memories together i've been with her through this whole dance career and um you know so we stayed overnight in hotels every competition and this is for like what 15 16 years so we, we just memories with gianna is just the best ones were when we were together with the dance competitions i love watching her on stage I love being with her. I remember when she was little, this is just a stupid story, but she used to be four when she started to dance on stage. Well, actually she was four, she just turned five and she did her first solo on stage. And after that, at five years old, she never wanted to get up so early. She was always, when you're young, you're always the first ones to go on. Like Oh Saturday yeah, I morning. was always 7 a.m. Saturday yeah. morning. So you gotta get up really early and she would be a little brat. So she'd be sleeping and I would have got her whole, I, I'd sit next what to her as she slept, use? that one. And I got her whole face all made up while she slept. I would lay there like a like like you a corpse, dead. like yeah. a dead body. And, and I would she do would her do whole makeup. Face, and whole makeup. She'd get up and she was all done. And then put your costume on. Let me do your hair. And I out. wish we could do that for the rest of. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that was the shit. Oh yeah. yeah, of course. Um, how do you feel about my boyfriend? Oh, I love Jordan. Jordan, Jordan's a great guy. Jordan supports her. Um, with anything she wants to do. He's a smart boy, goes to, a, uh, gonna graduate this December. Um, he has a, a nice future ahead of him. I really like him, I love his family. Yay. So that, yeah. Um, what other names did you have planned for me? Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I like Chanel. She's glad I didn't call her that. Yeah. This is the best. I was going to name her Sparkle. There, this was this little girl I saw. 
Um, her mother called her, Sparkle, come here. And when I saw her, she was the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. So I said, that's what I'm naming my baby. Of course, my ex-husband said, it. <laughs> my daughter's not going to be a stripper name. So, and then I was going to name her, Gianna was always my favorite. So, she got Gianna. It was, it was really I'm between sure. Gianna and Chanel, because I really like Chanel too. Who was your best friend on Abby's Ultimate? Well, while we were there, I actually had three best friends. Everybody that we lived with. Yeah, everybody that we lived with. We lived with uh, Trinity and her mom, Haley and her mom, and Michaela and her mom. So all those three mothers and me, we were like best buds. I lost track with Shari these days, but the other two I still talk to and love. What motivated you to put me in dance, and did you dance as a kid? Um, as a kid, yeah, I danced. I did ballet and tap. That was it. Probably, uh, not long. I have picture. Oh, I wish I had the picture. I can put the picture in. Okay. If you do, do you have the picture? Yeah. Okay, so I'll put it in right now. That's you. I gotta get it. I'm gonna oh, edit it. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like, okay. Um, yeah, I took ballet and tap just for a couple of years, but I always wanted a little girl in a cute little pink tutu and it was really an easy decision because Gianna when she was one um and just turned like almost two all she did was dance around the house she would put on the Disney princesses dresses and dance and dance to every commercial and dance she used to love Blue's Clues I don't know if anybody remembers that show but she used to dance to that every single day, all day. So I thought, you know what? She's going to be a dancer. And you were right. And I was right. <laughs> How do you feel about my tattoos and piercings? Be honest. Oh, my God. We got um, a tattoo together. This one. Um, which she drew and I love. Um, but now she's gotten more. And I'm like, mm, like, you know, um, what, what can I say? She's not, she'll be 20. I can't tell her what to do. I just can warn her. Don't put them. Don't you dare get anything like a <laughs> big arm tattoo. I'll kill her. Well, I'm not planning on doing So that. that's it. Yeah. I mean, what am I going to do? Can I have my coffee? How do you feel about my piercings? How do you uh, feel? How do you feel about my nose ring? A lot of people ask me that. Like, how did I convince you to get it, get my uh, nose pierced? Actually, I had my nose pierced first. When I uh, got divorced, that was like my thing that I wanted. So I got that, and then she wanted to get a nose pierced, and I said, fine, because you know what? No, you what? want it, you don't remember. Oh. She wanted me to get my nose pierced so bad, and I didn't want it for oh. a long time. You begged me to get my nose pierced. Yeah, I wanted her to get it because I had it, because I thought it would look cute, because I liked them. I and then cute. I didn't want it for a really long time, and then as soon as I wanted it, I got it within the next hour. <laughs> we ran to this freaking piercing place and I got it done as soon as possible. You know what? I, I figure with all these piercings, like she has a lot on her ears. You know, you take them out, they close up. You, you know, just like my nose. If I don't want to wear it, I don't wear it. And if I don't wear it, it'll close up someday. It's not, it's not like a tattoo that you have on like forever. Um, so I really don't care. As long as she doesn't have like... Do you have concealer? Yeah. As long as she doesn't have this and the yellow, I guess. This one? As long as she doesn't have, like, you know, piercing in her lips and in her tongue, um, I'm good with the ears and the nose. That's enough, though. What is my best quality and what is your best quality? Look up. Um, my Actually, best... I'll let you do this because it's hard to get in that crevice. I, I don't do that. I do this. Oh, my God. What, I'm not supposed to do that? No, it just wipes it all off. No, it doesn't. Um, my best quality, I... No, you have to oh. answer for me what's oh. my best quality, and then I'll answer what's your best quality. Excuse me. Um, your best quality? It's really hard, because you have so many. Ha uh ha. -huh. Her best quality, she's hardworking. When she wants something, she's going to go for it. Uh, full force. Um... 
That's mm -hmm. a good quality. She's very loving. She's very caring. Um, the mouth, uh, I know it's like a teenage thing with the mouth with girls, but she's a very loving, caring uh, girl. This will be part one. This will be part one. I'm sure that I'm going to make more videos with her because you guys love her. There was a ton me. of questions, so we will get to each and every of uh, each No, and most every of them, one. okay, well, you can answer these while you do that. Most of them were just like a, about your experience on Abby's Ultimate, like, do you regret it? Would you have done anything differently? And what, like, did you, did you question coming uh, there during, while you were there? You know what? In, what in was the, the hardest part? Things in like the that. beginning, me and Gianna, when she was, um, when she knew they wanted her for the show, um, it was a hard decision. It was hard because we left, you know, you were going to leave your whole family. I mean, I still had Trent. My little one, he was only 12. I mean, my older ones were older, and they didn't care if me and Gianna left. But it was like you packed up and you left your life. And you didn't know if you got there, if you were going to be there for one week or three months. Um, and we wound up there for three months because we waited, made it to the very end. Woo! Um, we were hemming and hawing whether to do it or whether or not. And, I, and you know, I had said to Gianna, I said, this is what you wanted. You filled out the application. You wanted to try out for the show. You got on. You know, let's, let's just do it. What the heck, you know? I mean, it's not like we wanted to be on TV. It's just this was something we had watched this season one and Gianna said, I want to do wanted that. To be on TV. Yeah, she wanted to. So, you know, me, I could care less about TV. I really would rather not. Um so I said, let's just do it. So really we just at the last minute we packed up and we went. Um I missed my kids terribly. It was fun. It was long days, tiring, fun. Um, it's kind of weird, though. You know, you, you fight with the women during the day, and then at night, it's like you're all friends. You go back to being friendly. Oh, I to do your so eyebrows. it was kind. It was kind of weird, but um, I I think it was an experience. I think Gianna at thirteen, and of course there were there were kids a lot younger than her, but. I think Gianna at 13, it was a lot to handle. Um, it was a constant, Abby would constantly put you, especially her, because she didn't like her or me. Um, she would constantly put you down, put Gianna down. So it was like, you know, Gianna's used to being lifted up. Like, you know, good job, Gianna. Oh, that looks great. Why don't you work on this? That's not so good, but why don't we do this? You know? Um, it, it you know, just making her feel good. But Abby used to come into the practice room and just make fun of her and just be nasty. And it's like, okay, Abby, you could be nasty because that's part of the show. But, you know, maybe you want to encourage the kids a little bit. Just, just, a, just a little bit. Just, just a, she encouraged some all the time, but. You know, she didn't like me because I stood up to her. All the other mothers bowed down to her, and I would be like, really? You know, like, you're you're nothing to me, so, you know, I'm not scared of you. All the other mothers were terrified of her, and they all bowed down, and I didn't, and that's why she hated me. And, and of course, that made her hate Gianna. So, really, it was kind of messed up you know and i on dance moms i don't know how all those mothers stood it i, I know money you know they they wanted money they are you know they all have big houses they all have this that and the other thing because they made a lot of money but you know what it's not worth all the money in the world to have her treat my daughter the way those girls were treated and after uh AUDC, we never wanted anything to do with anything with Abby yeah. because I would never put my daughter through that um torture again. It was it was actually like child abuse. So that was the end of that. And um moving on to bigger and better. It doesn't have to be on TV. You just have to enjoy life and that's what we're doing. So Oh yeah. Yeah. What other questions? Nothing. Are you done? I guess. Okay.
Part two. Part two coming. If you leave us questions or tell us what to do. Tomorrow, part two. Tomorrow? No, we're not doing this tomorrow. Why not? Why would we do it tomorrow? Because I like you doing my makeup and hair. <laughs> and I have to work. But well, I can do, do your. I'll work. do your makeup. I don't care. It doesn't. I don't. It doesn't bother. Why? Me. When is part two? We have to wait a week. No, we have to wait a little while. See how this video does. If this video does well, we'll do a part two. Okay. If the video does good, we'll do a part two. So. Thanks for watching. Start liking. If Bye guys. Like, yeah. Peace if you, out. Well, if you like Cindy, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of Cindy, give it a thumbs up. Hell yeah. We want to see more of the truth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a nice day. Bye. Peace out.